Hello and greetings to all you Technivores. I am Technivorous and this is the FL Sun Q5 Delta 3D printer. Now this thing is a beast. I've had it for a couple of days. I've had the time to print out a couple of test prints and I wanted to show them to you and let you see them for yourself because I've been really pleased with the quality of these items so far. So I'm just going to duck in the frame here and we'll check these out. So there are a couple of really, really specific things about this that I liked a lot. Um, you can see immense amounts of detail in this tiny miniature that I made. This is uh, one of the first prints that I did uh, with my own profile for Kira and it's kind of hard to do it justice but the tiny little details from the rib cage down to the jowls on the mouth are phenomenal. What else did we print? Well, all of our prints didn't come out that amazing. Some of the other problems that we happened to have when we first started was removing items from the bed. So as you can see, I took a, a chunk out of the corner of this trying to get it off and that was kind of frustrating. I also took a chunk out of this poor elephant um, and that was frustrating as well. I know that's kind of hard to see because the way the light's hitting it there with the coat with the chroma filter, but uh, you can see a little chunk missing right here. That is suboptimal, obviously. But other than that, which was my haste to get it off the bed, things were sticking a little too well at first. Um, the model is actually a really, really nice model. Um, this is actually the first thing that I printed this little cube here, and unfortunately. I didn't have anything tightened up the way that it needed to be, so there's this really, really easy to see wobble in here. And you can see it on the corners especially. So once I tightened everything up, things were going phenomenally, and that's how I was able to print this guy. This was one of the other test files that came with it, and it is just a threaded nut and bolt, and it is super, super smooth. This kind of clued me in to the tolerance of this bad boy. So this is an amazing printer as far as trying to print holes and parts that line up. One of the reasons for that is because being a Delta printer, it can actual, it does real circles. It, they're not oblongated in one direction or another like they tend to be with Cartesian machines. So um, I made the Decepticon logo in a classic blue here. This came out really, really well. Um, top surface is just gorgeous it is solid 100% solid um, and it came off the bed relatively easily so I really really enjoyed that one and then I don't know if you saw my video on Fusion 360 the other day and texturing around a curved surface the threaded screw here has this amazing texture around it that you can see there it's beautiful so I thought I'd try to replicate something like that on this ice fishing rod that I was making for a friend of mine and I thought it came out pretty well so we did a video on how to texture that around here on this contour as well but this is a really really nice job it came out in about an hour and a half and this thing is super fast so I don't really have any complaints about this printer so far I mean obviously this isn't the full review we'll give it a couple more weeks of testing and test out its maximum build size and things like that but I mean uh, it's it speaks pretty much for itself it's a pretty nice printer and I definitely am going to be looking into getting some more deltas because it is definitely the quietest machine that I have so far uh, I guess it remains to be seen if that guy back there in the corner will be quieter or not but pretty soon we'll know I have a feeling though that you can't get much quieter than this you can hear the fan on here when it's running and that's pretty much it so um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you like my little demo models. Uh, we are going to get the setup video up shortly, but for now, uh, I thought I'd show you some of my amazing prints that have come off between now and the time that I unbox this thing. Because, uh, like I said, the quality on this guy, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, it might be too close for the camera to focus in on those details there, but it, it's, it's nice. See the ribs in the neck? down to the lines in the jaw. So, yeah, if you get the chance to try one of these, definitely recommend it. If you know any other Delta printers you think I should try out, leave those in the comments down below. I definitely want to get a hold of some more of these guys. Not only is it quiet, but it is relatively compact. I mean, I can pick this up and move it around without having to worry about the big bulky two-foot profile 
by two foot that most printer bases have. So it's kind of nice that it can be tucked away in a corner and not really worried about as far as taking up space on the workstation too. So that's another plus. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.